The next device we see on low voltage electrical systems are miniature circuit breakers or MCBs. Most modern systems now use these instead of fuses as their characteristics are more predictable and they don't need to be replaced after a fault has occurred. In these switch devices, the mechanism is operated by a solenoid or other electromagnetic device when the current exceeds a certain level. They are used on low voltage domestic and industrial circuits. Again, they provide a basic overload function and have a fixed time current characteristic. Here we have a Type B MCB rated at 80 amps protecting a feeder circuit. Let's look at the typical characteristic. As we can see, the top half of the characteristic is very similar to the curve we've seen on the fuses that we looked at previously. The main difference between fuses and MCBs is that when the current gets to a set level, they trip with a fixed time delay. As we can see for this 80 amp Type B MCB, this is defined at just over 400 amps. MCBs come in all different ratings, and as you would expect, as the rating decreases, we move to the left of the current axis, and the MCB will trip instantaneously at a lower current magnitude. What do we mean by Type B MCB? Well, as well as having different current ratings for MCBs, we also have several different families. This is required so we can provide discrimination between MCBs and to supply different loads that may have different operating characteristics. Let's now look at a 6 amp rated Type B MCB. I compare it to a 6 amp rated MCB from the Type C and Type D family. You can see the difference between the characteristics. As we can see, the slope of the curve is similar for all three families, but the Type D MCB will trip instantaneously at a higher current level. For most circuits, the Type B MCB would be okay, but when we're dealing with motors, pumps, or transformers that will demand higher current levels when they're switched on, we might use a Type D circuit breaker. When miniature circuit breakers were first introduced, the majority of the low voltage circuits were protected by fuses. The MCB designers therefore made sure that the MCB time current characteristic would successfully coordinate with those of the fuses lower down the network. In most modern systems, MCBs have replaced fuses, as they are easy to discriminate with other devices, and don't need to be replaced every time a fault occurs. The wiring fuses also deteriorates over time, especially on circuits which are heavily loaded. MCBs don't face this issue. 